Hey everybody, welcome back to Doom 3, the BFD edition. Some enemy projectiles can be destroyed in midair. Use this to your advantage. I feel like most of them can. Though some are harder to do with than others. Yes. Able to locate your position. Warcom systems are beginning to malfunction and shut down. Massive service disruptions throughout the entire base. I don't know how long I'll be able to track it? Bravo team has just entered the end program. Pick up the pace. You aren't far behind. Tell them to wait. Oh, I know there's no time. Yada yada yada. Trust me, if they wait for me, the chances of their survival will go way up. Hey you! Can you help me? I'm trapped in here! Release the door locks and get me out! Got you go. Thank you. Mm -hmm. You want to help that guy, trust me. Oh, I may kill him. After he's done what I need him for. Thanks for getting me out of there. Oh, yeah, I got no trapped in the chamber when the power went out. I don't know what's going on here. I don't understand. Sorry, Chief. Doctor something or other, I checked the chamber calibration as you requested, and I first found everything to be within acceptable limits. I was leaving the chamber, though, and I started to hear a low whispering sound that seemed to be emanating from the main computer. Though when I stooped down for a closer look, the sound stopped. This happened every time I was leaving the chamber. You may want to check into this matter yourself, as I can't seem to find what source of the sound. As far as everything else is concerned, it seems to be blocking out. I'll guess we're running at 2.4 or higher, so I don't foresee any problems. Good day, I'm Dr. John Okoano, civil servant in the Ministry of Health. I know this proposal will come as a surprise. As, uh, Security log number 3072 for Delta Security Chief Michael Abrams, November 15th, 2145. I've just come from the Armament Division where I was issued one of the new BFG 9000 series weapons. <laughs> well, they weren't kidding about how much lighter it is over previous prototype models. Won't be so bad carrying this one around. <laughs> Anyhow, for a couple of weeks now, Many of the security teams have not been following proper reporting procedures. Mm, not sure if it's the format of the new SIR, so... I'll make sure each team is scheduled by training division to get spun up on the new reports. There have been some security issues in the Alpha Labs. I sent a team over to investigate, and now I can't reach them on any comm channel. I guess I'll have to go over there myself. Well, I'm headed over there now. I'll finish the security port in full when I get back. Oh yeah, one more thing. I'm gonna leave this BFG locked in my office for now. Please have IT security change my door code to 901. Sure as hell don't need anyone messing around with it. <laughs> Chief this Abrams, end of law. is way in the future that you find this, his, this guy's office. So if you miss this, you're not getting that gun. Nothing important to read, your, uh, read his emails because... Mr. Abrams, we are unable to process your door code request because you included a zero in the number sequence, and as you should have known, zero is not a valid number on door codes. Because the importance of your request, we have decided to take it upon ourselves to replace the zero with a three. Please advise if this causes a problem. What problem could it cause? Security Chief Abrams, as you requested, we are sending more security guards to your security unit. The events of... 
Gorman's death were tragic, and we hope that any future incidents can be dealt with safely. Expect a new rotation of personnel in about ten working days. Director Kelsey Critch, Human Resources. We make working on Mars feel like home. Mr. Abrams, we're getting a lot of reports about strange noises. Voices? Down here. My team is on edge and most are unable to work. It might help if you could send a security detachment to Alpha Sector 4 to do a sweep of the area. I know this sounds crazy, but it would make myself and my team feel a lot better. Henry Nelson. Henry Nelson. Do I have his? The name sounds familiar. God, the ghost of the, the people I've murdered don't come after me. Because I've been murdering quite a few. Quite a few. Gracious me. Yeah. It's okay, though. Canonically, nobody but me survived. You think with the way I toss grenades around, I'd be kind of low on them? It's like being dead is done. No, uh, hasn't exactly helped his aim. Is that what I get for making smart ass remarks about his aim? So I regret nothing. came first. Marine, base schematics show all passages out of your area blocks. The only way through is by... Come on. Traversing the EFR, mechanical subsystem with two possible routes to it. Activating the system will get you a direct route, but it's dangerous. Extending the service bridge is a safer and well, the systems are fried. Make a choice, Lorraine. Good luck. This is the audio log of plant manager Henry Nelson, dated October 24, 2145. I don't know how I should report this, so I'll just talk about what I know and what I need. I've had quite a few employees reporting to me that they've heard strange sounds, like voices talking to them, calling them, even when they were alone. At first, I didn't believe them. The guys down here like to kid around, but they assured me they were serious. I ignored the stories at first, until one day, I heard something too. 
I was working on one of the lift-up service panels, and I distinctly heard the voice of someone saying, Over here. I quickly turned to see who was there, but the passage was completely empty. It sounds like you I looked got a around, but I didn't see another soul. I even checked the work logs, and no one else was working near that area. I don't want to sound crazy here, but my guys and myself are a little spooked, and some of the guys were even talking about ghosts. So, to make everyone, including myself, feel a little more comfortable, I'd like to request that a security team make a thorough check of the EFR area. Thank you, Henry Nelson. God. Huh. Oh. I think I did come here. Why not have been able to back up those files? Don't copy that floppy. doors of some kind. I know not. And we know more than thou. This looks safe. Ah, oh, shite. I am damaged. Just got that health back. Can't go that way. I feared would be the case. Ah, hey, hey, what? No shoving! No idea how to get over there.
Ah, kiss flaps. There's never just one trite. Do not attempt to trick me into thinking that there's just one. Trite or trite? I can't remember. That guy around here somewhere. Oh, I guess I was wrong. I am fairly certain we cannot come back from where we're about to go. Which is upsetting. Because I guarantee you I'm going to get hurt. Badly. We're talking under 50 health points left. Apparently that's a baby mancubus? Not that part, you get the part behind it. I missed a plasma gun in there somewhere, but I don't know where. Hopefully it wasn't with a uh, PDA, otherwise I've 
ruined this whole uh, PDA collecting thing I've been go trying to do. That's why I've been murdering people for their PDAs. They just like killing people? There is a method to my madness. Bravo team, entry secure. Move in and take positions. Quiet. Did you hear that? This is Lee. Give me status. Always clear. There's nothing here, Sam. Go on. What the hell? Son of a bitch! Lee, I'm swinging around land. Go in there, quick draw. Warning. Coolant rod 2 offline. Main reactor okay, operation okay. temperature exceeding safe levels. Marine, Bravo team is down. Their operational status is unknown. They were carrying a military transmission card. It's vital you retrieve that card as it contains encoded data needed to send the distress signal to the fleet. They're the last hope to get reinforcements. Find that card and find it fast. I think we have slightly more important things on our on our plate here, uh, Sergeant Kelly. Much as I would just love to blow this place up, I don't think the explosion will be big enough to do any real damage other than killing me. Oh! That's right, bud. Wait for me. We're gonna have ourselves a good time. Did he just jump? He got startled. Oh shoot, we little buddy! Leak stopped. Fire extinguished. Goodbye. Right behind you. Taking him down, chum. Getting a little damage, though. Can't 
spray for him. You might get destroyed. Main reactor operation temperature exceeds. If there's one thing I'm not having, it's my little buddy getting destroyed. Warning. Coolant rod two offline. Main reactor operation temperature exceeding safe level. Yeah, bot buddy. You're right, he is my buddy. getting very annoyed at me for saying his name over and over again. He's trying to sleep. Not that I can see what he's doing right now, he's just... It's just that he's... You know, nine times out of ten, he's going to be trying to sleep. Warning. Coolant rod two, offline. Main reactor operation temperature exceeding safe levels. If you nail it. This is the audio log of weapon analyst Teresa Cesar, dated November 3rd, 2145. I'm pleased to report that the preliminary tests on the ammo storage in the new Mach 3 plasma gun has far exceeded our expectations. We realized a full 50% gain in the storage capacity of ammo packs as a result of utilizing techniques engineered in the Alpha Lab's molecular compactor. I believe with the ongoing compaction research, we will reach our goal of three times the plasma storage currently available in standard ammo packs. I would also like to mention that all of the employees here at the NPRO plant have been very helpful and quite eager to accommodate all of my requests. For security reasons, I've locked the plasma gun and the extra ammo in locker 063 with door code 972. End of lock. I can't imagine why they'd be so accommodating to you, ma'am. Are any of them wearing fedoras? Milady? So please take a few minutes in your next day or so to create an audio report based on your plasma storage findings. The board is looking forward to hearing about your accomplishments. As you know, security has been tight lately with all the accidents, and as a result, we can't be too careful. Please make sure you lock up your test weapon and add the cabinet code into your report. Great job. Teresa, hope you like your new office. I think you'll find it much easier to concentrate on the plasma gun project without those weaves and engineering drooling all over you. How pathetic, right? Anyway, I'll be down there from time to time if you ever want to talk or get something to eat. I'm probably sick of hearing it, but I think seeing you every day is more valuable to me than any amount of money I've gotten from working here, and believe me, being a supervisor, I work. I make a lot. Pal Lloyd. Always read the original message first. Viz. Lloyd has really outdone himself this time. Moved me into the office next to the trench in Empro. Does he really think by moving me to the most remote office on this wretched base that I'll be more attracted to him? Wait, it might be working. Being isolated for this long is starting to get to me. I'm a chatterbox whenever I get the chance to talk to a real person. Okay, I gotta get back to work. D. I know what you're talking about. When I was still there, I felt like I was the only woman surrounded by a bunch of drooling men. I miss the work, but I don't miss the f that place. I feel like I'm lucky to be out of there. Keep your eyes open for trouble. I don't trust the, some of the executives up there. 
Can't wait to see you back on Earth when your research is complete. Friend Liz. Elizabeth McNeil is kind of a big deal in a uh, the expansion for this uh, Resurrection of Evil. But all of that we'll have to wait for another time. I'm the Blues 32. This is Doom 2. Not 2, 3. DTFN. How about for now? I've been calling it Doom 2. Oh shit.